What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Here in today's episode, I'm diving into something that hits a little bit closer to home, literally and figuratively. I live about 20 minutes away from the PNC Arena. Obviously, you guys could tell from my backdrop, I'm a Carolina Hurricanes fan. It has only grown as time has gone on. So this definitely is something that when I heard about it, I had to dive into it, and the reason I wanted to make a video was to clear some things up, some things that are going on as far as rumors on Twitter, rumors on Reddit. I have some inside information into the Carolina Hurricanes organization, along with Bally Sports, that I have gotten a hold of, and I want to clear up exactly what is going on, what is factual, what is bullshit, and uh, give it to you guys straight. So before we dive into that, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. The channel continues to grow, and it's because of you guys. You guys can also check out my Teespring store. I will link it in the description box below. Anything you purchase on there will help support the channel ultimately. And let's go ahead and dive into this controversial story. So let's go ahead and set the scene. Over the past weekend, the big controversy here in Canes country is that a Carolina Hurricanes player was having an affair with one of the reporters, or vice versa, however you want to lay that out. The player was Ian Cole. Now, Ian Cole is a journeyman defenseman. He's bounced around from some teams. He played, obviously, for the Carolina Hurricanes this past season. He's played for the Colorado Avalanche. He's played for a bunch of teams in his career. He's somebody that primarily played on the third defensive line in the penalty kill unit for the Carolina Hurricanes, but he's also married with what I believe to be two children. On the other side of the coin, we have Abby Labar. Abby Labar is the sideline reporter she went to NC State locally, and she is somebody that has worked tooth and nail to get to where she is with the Carolina Hurricanes, with different networks, with Fox Sports, Bally Sports. Um, you can see her biography. She is somebody that it's on actually her site. She's somebody that has really worked hard to get to where she is at, especially in a field like hockey, which is very male dominated. And she's also engaged, or at least was until this past weekend. So this is Abby and her fiance. This is her fiance, Chris Proctor. He is a former football player, NCAA level. He is also, from what I read, I believe he's an NC State coach, maybe the head coach. I can't remember off the top of my head right this second, but something along those lines. And the big news, obviously, that broke was that she was having an affair with Ian Cole, and he basically called off the wedding during the rehearsal dinner this weekend. That is going to be the first bit of, is it true, is it false, that I'm going to throw out there. Now, ultimately, people believe that this all broke over the weekend, and that is not true. This controversy, this affair, has actually been known about for quite some time, for about a month. Uh, not only did Abby and her fiancé know about this and were working through this, it was something that Bally Sports, the Carolina Hurricanes, were all familiar with, well over a month ago that this was going on. So this has not come as some big surprise over the weekend. There's not some big, oh, he found out at the rehearsal dinner thing and threw out, called off the wedding. That's not at all how this played out. This has been something that her and her fiance have been working through for about a month now to see, I guess, if they could work through it ultimately and still get married. Now, before I dive in to any more of the story or any more of the points that I'd like to get across, I do want to state I don't condone cheating at all in any way. I don't condone cheating on your wife. I don't condone cheating on your fiance. I don't condone it on any level at all. I've been through it. I went through a shitty divorce because of cheating. I've been through some shit myself and I'm somebody that can sympathize ultimately with those in regards to the scenario that have been cheated on. I feel absolutely horrible for Ian Cole's wife, her family, his family. I feel absolutely horrible for Abby Labar's former fiance, and I do hope that ultimately maybe they can work through it. It doesn't appear like that's going to happen right now, but time can heal wounds, and sometimes things can be repaired, and sometimes it's just better to move on. It's better to move on with your life. Now, back to the story ultimately. As some people have noticed, both Ian Cole and Abby Labar's Twitters have gone private. They have not made any comments publicly about this. The Carolina Hurricanes have not stated anything publicly about this. Nobody has officially made any statement about what is going on, what Abby Labar's future is, Ian Cole's future is. And I'm going to break that for you guys right now. 
As far as Ian Cole, doesn't look like he's going to be back with the Hurricanes. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But the thing that frustrates me most about this entire situation is that these are two people that consensually had sex with one another, ultimately. Whether or not it happens uh, on PNC Arena grounds, whether it happens while they were both you know, supposed to be working, I don't know that detail of this. But ultimately, it was two people consensually having sex. And as of right now, it does not look like Ian Cole is going to suffer anything professionally because of this scenario. And obviously, he's the man in this scenario. He's the hockey player. And a lot of times, they kind of get a pass, ultimately. And that's where my frustration comes into all of this, because a lot of people don't know this yet. It has been kept under wraps, obviously, because no announcement has been made. But Abby Labar is no longer with Bally Sports, Fox Sports, but the Carolina Hurricanes. She's no longer with them. That's kind of the biggest piece of news I want to break to you guys. She has been ultimately let go. They are not renewing her contract because of this scenario. And ultimately, they basically gave her this option. They sat her down and said, we're letting you go. You don't have a choice in this. But we're going to let you go and let it be that you quit. They're gracing her with the ability to say that she left amicably. I guess that will look better for her long term on career aspects. I don't know. I don't think so. This is a young woman that has worked very hard to get to where she's at. And obviously mistakes have been made. And I'm not defending her actions. But it does bother me a lot that this woman that has worked very, very hard to get to where she is at is not only going to lose everything personally, which she has, her fiancé has left, the wedding is called off, her personal life is an absolute disaster right now. But now her professional life is also a disaster. And that's where my frustrations show and where I felt like I needed to say something and make a story about this. Because in a male-dominated sport like hockey and in a lot of major sports in this country to see the man get the slap on the wrist to see the men get second third fourth opportunities i mean tony d'angelo i'm a tony d'angelo fan just got traded to the flyers he's a heck of a player but he's had a lot of controversy prior to this with a lot of different teams the rangers got rid of him for a reason because of racist comments and bigotry and terrible things that have been said and done and yet keeps getting opportunity after opportunity. And this woman is automatically crucified and her entire professional career has been taken from her. Something that she's worked her ass off for. And I feel like there should be a separation with this. And I get as a reporter, she's somebody that works with the Carolina Hurricanes players, hands on. But you know what? If Ian Cole was still under contract for the next three, four years, do you guys really think that they would have cut him? Do you guys really think that he would have suffered anything really professionally with this. But instead, in this male-dominated field where this woman has made huge strides for women as a reporter, as a sign line reporter, what she has done in the last three, four years has been huge for women. And again, I don't condone what she did or what went on, but I don't like the bias here. I don't like that this young woman loses everything over a mistake. Now I do want to touch on a few more aspects of what is going on in this. I have been given some more information in regards to the fact that Bally Sports supposedly has known about this for a while now and they've also known of other players being involved in this. Now I can't verify who these other players might be. I can't fully verify whether or not this is the truth, whether there have been other players. There was a rumor about Martin Nietzsche. There was a rumor about her and Andrei Svechnikov. Supposedly there was a photo of her potentially holding hands with Andrei Svechnikov. And whether or not there's any truth to that, I have not been able to verify. And I will say right up front, if the news does come out that over the last four years there have been numerous players and this has been a long-standing, ongoing thing, then... Ultimately, I do understand letting her go. If this is an isolated incident with just her and Ian Cole, then I do 
disagree ultimately with what is going on. And another example I'd like to give as to why this ultimately frustrates me is Trip Tracy. I'm a huge Trip Tracy fan. Absolutely love him on the broadcast team. He admitted to the drinking problem he has. He has been getting himself sober. And they plan to have him back this upcoming year. Even after his Twitter tirade that he had a, you know, in the midst of the playoffs. And it's just, to me, that's another example of the bias that is going on in this scenario and the bias that goes on throughout this entire country when it comes to situations like this. And it's why I'm so passionate about this and speaking to you guys ultimately about this, because I just, I don't agree with it. Now, like I said, if we do find out that there have been more affairs, then ultimately I do understand and my mind on this will be swayed a bit that I do realize and understand why they would ultimately let her go. But from what has been stated to me and the information that has been given to me, Abby Labar has stood strong in her statement to the Canes, to PNC, to Bally Sports, Fox Sports, that the only person she had an affair with was Ian Cole. That was her statement to them when they sat her down and talked to her. She stated that Ian Cole was the only one, that the other ones and the other rumor mills and all the other players that are being discussed, that that was not true. It was just Ian Cole. So I guess ultimately, you guys, we will see as uh, this continues to unfold. We'll see if we get an official statement at any point from the Hurricanes, from Valley Sports, from Fox Sports, from any of those. We'll see. So just wanted to share with you guys that news, that information that I had and see what you guys thought of it all. So please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about everything going on with this scenario. Please hit that like button once again, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Until next time, peace.